time to take on the gym and let's play Pokemon Vega. Now this gym does got some interesting things, such as teleporting flowers. Wow. What a... an original concept. I'll say that much. Now what you gotta do though to get to the gym leader is talk to these windows. This one to be exact. And then you walk into this and there you go. <laughs> like, it's such a little tiny puzzle. Like, oh, you'll eventually find the way to get to the gym leader if you keep going through the flowers. But no, you have to talk to that window, and then you'll find it. Oh, jeez, that took me a while. Anyway, we've got the bug gym leader here, Ms. Vega. Let's take her bugs out. Oh, okay, this is great. But now she's got the orange bear, which is really annoying. Hopefully, I can get some confused rays off, but I also want her to waste her potions. Oh, great. Well, never mind then. Uh, yeah, Pineco with Signal Beam. What has happened to the world? I love how that Confuse Ray was helping out. Thanks, buddy. I really didn't want to take any damage because I'm going to be wasting my Orange Berry soon. Well, next up is Roly Poly Sonic guy. Remember that guy? Yeah. But again, he just doesn't have the animation like because it's not Emerald Hack. This seems like such a downgrade compared to Altair and Sirius. All of the animations were pretty nicely done, but unfortunately no animations here. And lastly, it's Shuckle, her main guy here. I'll just go for Confused Array. There isn't much to fear about it, but if Shuckle does get enough curses off, it's gonna start wrecking your team. Oh dear, there we go. Okay, it's still got a berry, I believe. Big yawn, okay. <laughs> Here's one of the moves. I think it's still confused. Hopefully it is, but either way, I need to get out of bed, pretty much. Uh-oh, okay. Well, now that we know it isn't confused, Cora! Oh, great. Oh, jeez. And that was a critical hit, too. Jeez. Well, there's my orange berry. Cora, oh man, I'm glad you could still dodge rolling around at the speed of sound here. Okay. <sighs> Boy. Big Yawn has 100 accuracy, by the way. It's essentially Spore. They could have just gave Shuckle and everything else that learns Big Yawn Spore. I'm not sure if I'm going to be slower than it now. Okay, I'm just going to hope it's still confused. Uh, it is. Okay, and there's Big Yawn once again. Well, let's try to get lucky with those confusions. Yes! Okay, good. Cora, wake up, buddy. Oh, boy. Hey, I'm still faster. Well, I mean, sure, it's Shuckle. We got a critical hit. Yes! Whew. Yeah, this gym, pretty tough, but just got to get lucky with those Big Yawns, and you'll eventually win. It's not that bad. Just kind of luck-based. And here, if you're paying attention, we get Signal Beam pretty nice early on. And look at that, Hoot Hoot learns it. Interesting. Well, not that I'm going to teach it. Well, there we go. Oof. With the other... Whoops. <laughs> With the other starter... Wow! With the other starters, it is a pretty tough battle. This guy's going to give you a whole lecture from the Book of Virtue here. But with the other starters, I suggest just trying as much as you can. There aren't a lot of the Pokemon that are, you can catch around here that could help other than, I don't even know, none of them really help, I think. Jeez, I don't know, Pineco, if you want to stall, with protect, I guess, if you want to get self-destruct as well. Oh, hey, this guy lets you pass, cool. And the fire starter guy probably has the most trouble, because I believe Shuckle has Bulldoze too. They never used it, huh? Oh well, Stab Rock there is pretty good. Let's just Water Gun. And move on with our life. Oh, Cora. You know what? I don't want to take on every trainer here just yet. But just to show off what's in here. Great. Bunch of new things. Look at Talo. Oh, man. Get used to seeing Talo as well as a bunch of other Pokemon. Houndour. Oh, boy. See, here are Houndours. They're great. Yeah. I've used Houndour. <laughs> They're great. Okay. Oh, cutscene. Huh? Who are you? Okay, bye. Who knows who that was? Oh, thanks for not battling me there, young lady. 
And now, here comes the fun part. We avoid every trainer at every cost. Cool. Okay, there's something really important over here, though, while we're walking back. We get spikes here. Yeah, I would suggest using spikes on someone because some battles... Uh, at least most of the battles, like the major battles, only have five Pokemon, but spikes support will come in handy in game for the amount of Pokemon trainers with really tough Pokemon, okay? Well, now that we're here, I'm just gonna try to find our finally official first team member, and that will be. not Diglett, but. It'll be someone like. Not Diglett. Not Sonic Pillbug Guy. Wow. I Look, I almost grew to level 19. I am gonna grow to level 19 there. Wow. Where is it? Oh, look, Whirlpool. Hmm. Uh, say what you will about Whirlpool, but look at its attack and accuracy power. It does have the strength of the 5th gen counterpart of Whirlpool. And here comes something I haven't mentioned just yet. I just completely forgot. Look at the little section of text. I'll zoom in on it. I'll just spotlight it. See that? That means it's a special attacking move. See how Water Gun and Whirlpool both have that little bar of text? While physical moves will have that bar of text. Yes, there is a physical and special split in this game. I should have mentioned this way earlier. Just forgot. But now that you know, there is that little thing. Just try to remember the little wide looking character is special attack and then whatever that is, is the physical kind. Well, I'm going to keep Whirlpool because it is usable, I say. At least. Whirlpool and Confuse already has helped me a bunch, so let's do it. Now, back to searching. Finally! Wow! Two levels later. Yes, and it has Intimidate. This is good. It is Dino Guy. Oh boy, I sure do love Dino Guy. It's probably the best Pokemon that you could use in this game. It is so good. It learned so many moves. And its defenses are pretty good, it's coupled with the... Wait, actually I want to go for Hypnosis because they're kind of hard to catch. Coupled with the Intimidate. Whoa, look at that shiny and look at it die. <sighs> Fine. Oh, great. I should have been a bit more prepared for this, but hopefully we'll get a really lucky like right now. Yes! Good! Good! Yeah, yeah. Dino guy. That looks like an Anglosaur. Yes. Neat. Now, if only I had a nickname. And luckily, I do have a nickname. It's Googly translated name is Reynosu, like Rhino, sort of? Just translated like that. Uh, I'm gonna call it Rambi. Yeah, Rambi. Let's go with that. Sure, it's a chick. That's nice. Okay, Rambi. Wow, I don't know what took it so long to appear. Holy, relaxed. That's okay, I'll take that. Although the speed drop is gonna get really annoying. Hmm. As slow as a hoot hoot, and that's great. Well, let's go ahead and get started training on it, and now we can take on the trainers, which is why I left all these guys here. Hello. Time to have some fun. I wasted a bunch of water guns and whirlpools, even, because <laughs> I just wanted to save up on water guns. That was really silly, though. How did I not find any for so long? Oh well. Let's just move on with it. Thanks, sir. Maybe these guys have some new Pokemon? Maybe? Oh, look! It's Mint Bird! I may use it. Maybe. You don't get him on this route. It's until after the cave that we were just in. So you're gonna have to wait for that. Oh, boy. They are they evolve really early. I believe level 18. So that can be nice. They are Flying Psychic, if you don't recall. And one thing I do recall is that Peaches do not have any attacking moves, although Charm is kind of annoying. Let's go for Focus Energy. Yeah, all it can do is Thundershock, so... Being a Ground type, if I haven't mentioned that, it's a pure Ground type. When it evolves, it's a Ground Steel type, and that's not going to be for a while. It's level 40. Anyway, Mint Bird, a very nice Pokemon. I like it. I like its evolution, how it looks as well. But... It does have decent stats as well. 
Okay, let's just stay in. Sure, we got stacked, and now, sure, we're gonna get out of here. Don't poison sting. Need see, I need to pay attention whenever they're gonna send out a Pokemon. I'm not paying attention. I just kind of go to my training Pokemon, and for now on, it's not that bad. But again, later on in the game, it does get really frustrating, not knowing what they're gonna send out. And in my practice files, I would save state just to see what they're gonna send out next, but. I'm not going to be safe stating through this playthrough, don't worry. We'll see how that goes. Oh boy. That's going to be great. Okay. Almost there. Ramby. Oh, great. Now it's going to sponge the hit. No, it isn't. Just wasn't enough. Level 9. Way to go. By the way, Pichu's you don't get until the next route right after. Oh, great. Why did I switch out? Oh, well. Uh, and where the mint birds are after the cave. So keep that in mind if you want to use Muscly Pikachu. I'm just telling you right now, it evolves through happiness. So once you evolve Pichu to Pikachu through happiness, just grow it another level, then it evolves into Muscly Pikachu. Yeah, it's kind of weird how they did that. I don't know. They could have evolved it through a Moonstone or something, something else, any other stone really. But it's nice that it evolves through that. I mean, it just seems kind of weird. I don't know. Oh well, let's go back to Korra. Pow, pow snow. Neat. <laughs> Water gun is starting to run out. That's never good. Thanks, lady. And uh, hello. Oh man, <laughs> definitely left a lot of trainers here. Jeez, Rambi, get out of there. Let's go, Cora, and take a little leer. And okay, I have high hopes for Rambi. Will definitely be helping with the next gym. Oh boy. Next gym can have some troubling moments. Oh, great. Did I just kill off Rambi? I did. Great. Well, I guess I had to heal anyway. Unless I can live through this. Whoa. No, Rambi. Oh. Oh. No, Rambi. Oh. Oh. Yes. Wow. Rambi on the brink of extinction. Not today. Learns dig. This is great. Another diglet. Okay, good. <laughs> well, uh, that would have been Rambi's demise. No worries. There goes Whirlpool. Great. Now let's Whirlpool. Yes. You'll see. Everyone will see Whirlpool actually doing something. I'm glad it's semi-usable until 5th gen. It took so long. Oh well. They should have gave that buff in 4th gen because there's a HM and Heart Gold Soul Silver. It would have been nice, but oh well. Okay, we're almost to the end. I actually wanted to go back and heal. Now I stayed in. See, I keep doing that. Oh, jeez. Oh, well, and that's it. Okay, we just need this, and then there's like one more trainer up there. Alright. Oh, Mint Bird Ahoy. Let's get some Intimidate. That's great. Okay. How about we outspeed and dig? Not that it matters, but I just wanted to keep it safe, okay? That's a water gun. Sure. And will Rambi live this attack? Oh, <gasps> Rambi! How are you living? Oh, well, that's good enough, buddy. There you go. Okay. That's great. I love it. Okay. Now, oh, there's still her. Oh, great. Oh, dear. Will Rambi live through this barely living through the route saga? Let's find out now. Oh, man. Water gun's almost out. Good. Good. And let's get out of here. Go, Rambi! Rambi, my man, my main man, thanks, Vanellope. Alright, now, water gun, the final hurrah. And level 21, Korra didn't need to grow so many levels, but it just happened to grow levels. Watch as this guy has a uh, Macargo, and I can't do anything except Whirlpool and let Whirlpool miss. That will be great. Okay, well, oh boy. Whirlpool hit and it kills. What? Yes, we did it. Oh man, that could have gotten kind of ugly. But that'll be it for today's episode. That Rambi took a while. I'm already 18 minutes into recording, so a lot of editing will go into this episode. Hopefully, it's like, I don't know, 15 minutes. Oh dear. Well, next time we'll be going through the Cave of Vega. Tune in next time for Battling with Aaron of the Elite Four. Wow, that sounds like fun, doesn't it? Yes, it does. Bye.